Hi everybody, this is Ray at ClamPlus.com. I just um, wanted to show you a weld fixture. Uh, this is pretty much a, a small little weld fixture and we have four clamps on it. Uh, a 603, a 215, a 207, and another 603. And we have one, two, three, four parts uh, that go in here. I'm going to unload this thing real quick and I'm going to kind of load it for you so that you can kind of understand how and, and what this part actually looks like. Um, I'll put the component parts over here and I'll show them as they as they go into the fixture. This is a small little fixture if you're going to weld maybe like oh, 200, 300 parts uh, a year. Um, this is a fixture that I, I would currently make. Um, it's a re very repeatable. You can put your parts in here. You have to kind of keep it clean. Um, but this is kind of how we use our actual our threaded uh, external threaded boat retainers. Uh, like you see one here on the on the 215 series horizontal clamp and then you, you see a steel on the bottom of him because he gets pretty close to a weld or it's pretty hot. Um, on this one you actually see a rubber on the end of him um, because he's a little flexible and he has to go over around and he's kind of a little bit farther away from the actual uh, weld itself. So basically um, the way that we would actually load this, this is a, a water cut burnout um, it's rather thick, it's probably an inch and a quarter thick. Um, and we're going to load him in first and he goes over this in this area. This is a laser burnout part. Um, it has a hole burned out and then we have these two metric uh, tapped holes in here. Uh, that would go in to this vicinity right here. And we lightly close our clamp here. And then we also, we take and push this one all the way up to the top. And this is where I use some of my threaded boat retainers uh, as end adjustments. I can adjust this end and lock it down so that this can go up a few more thousandths or down, whatever. It's very adjustable. I also use them in that, in that manner. So we'll hold him down, close that clamp. And that's just a rubber that's holding that right now. Um, this is a, an actual uh, screw machine part. And it has a little flat spot on it, which lines up right here on this. So it shows its alignment. And then this goes inside that one hole. So we put him in like so. And we'll push him all the way up. And we'll close this down. And you can kind of see that, that clamp really holding that critter. This one is uh, a little longer in this direction. And it's a little shorter in this direction. So it's just a 3 16 laser burnout part. It's a gusset. And he goes right inside of here. He goes right down into the corner. And now because I have to weld in here, I don't want this handle in my way. So that's why we use an actual horizontal clamp. And you hear him lock down. Now all the component parts are in there to be held in there. And now what we'll end up doing is, of course, we can end up welding here and welding here, welding here and here, and then around this. And then we can open up of our clamps, take our part out, and finish welding it. Um, now I only have to make about 300 of these critters. I don't have to make very many of them a year. But this is just a small little weld fixture and how we actually use a lot of our DeSeco clamps and the Carlane clamps with our external thread bolt retainers because when you open up this clamp real fast, see I don't get hit in the back of the hand? That's a cool feature. Also this one. See how I don't get hit in the back of the thumb? Really cool feature. Works really well. I just wanted to show it to you real quick just to kind of show you and I'll kind of turn it around so you can actually see it from a few different angles here. And then I'll also have another video with another uh, set of clamps on it and um, I'll show you some other really cool features uh, that you can use for um, welding. Uh, we have this on a, about a 10 degree angle so that all the BBs fly off. I have these two gussets underneath here that you can't see. They're kind of hard to see with the camera. And then I bolt this down on a, on a positioner so I can rotate it back and forth so that I can make my weld, turn it, make a weld, turn it, weld it. And that that's kind of helps me out. And also to unload it and reload it, um, that is another feature. So, But I hope that uh, kind of explained a little bit about our external threaded bolt retainers. If you had to have a clamp where you had an internal one, that's where an internal one would also work really well for you. Um, but I hope that helps you out a little bit on a, on a weld feature. Thanks.